Okay. This developer bar, uh, if he is not coming to your screen in your Excel, you can go here, Office button, click on Excel options. In Popular tab, you will find this Show Developer tab in ribbon. So when it is checked, it will appear on your ribbon. Here you have. Can you show? Can you show me once again, sir? Yes. You just go in this Office button. Okay. Excel option. In mm -hmm. popular, you have this show developer tab in ribbon. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, just check it and uh, it will appear on your uh, ribbon. And here you have insert button, insert control. So mm. there are two controls. One is form controls here and one is active S control. The active S mm. control is used for VBA coding or macro with macro mm. but we have some controls we, uh, to which we can use in our Excel with no coding mm. see how we gonna use it with our charts suppose I have some names here and their sales here as you can say the sales in January, February, March three months So here I have some data to which I want to show the charts. So I just select the value, go to insert and insert the chart. Here I have some charts, but I want to show individ individual charts. When the value, if the values are, there are a lot of values, then it is difficult to show the chart there. So we need to customize the, the chart as per our we want individual chart for everyone so how we do that we have uh, used an offset formula earlier so that will help us see I just copy this headings here and I will do I will take the reference from here for row and column so first I uh, take the row reference for the name and the data so let's suppose I am choosing first row and column we will use for January February so first row and we are putting here offset offset there is a first it takes a reference the reference I'll take from here and then row which I will be choosing from here okay we need not uh, a co column from here we can put at zero because we will the value will be looked after in same column and then we can close it so when I put a number here, I put 2, then it shows Pradeep, 3, it shows Ravi. So according to this number, this value got changed. So I just drag this formula and pick some values here. Here I am taking one for column so that it can display me the January value two here yeah, for very basically offset what what exactly it is doing actually 
basically it takes a reference. Suppose we have uh, this type of data, and when we take okay. a re reference from here, uh, offset has two parts. First is reference. Reference is this one, and when you move, uh, the offset formula have other parameters. Rows. When you go to rows, row the rows description is here. When you are here and in reference, if you talk about one row, first row, the first will be this one because it always starts from zero. Uh, currently, mm -hmm. name name cell is zero row and zero column. When you move down, that okay. is mean one row zero column. But when you move here in column. So it is zero column and it is one column, two column, three column, just like that. Okay. That's why the value is coming here. Okay. So when I yeah. change the value, the all the data will be changed according to that because I have given the reference of row from here. Okay. So our first problem mm -hmm. got resolved, and uh, we can put a chart here. in this value okay so when i change the value here yeah, the data change and the charge change okay now let's see the magic of our user controls how they work so we go in developer tab and in insert i choose a combo box combo box mm -hmm. it is a list box type uh, control you just right click on that and go to format control format control in control tab you have uh, two uh, main thing first is input range the value which will be showed by our this combo box so i select these names from here and the cell link the cell link i will choose this row so what will happen here when i click on that the values are here when i take sandeep so it takes the first index position because i have chosen this this much of value so it shows the index position of these values so i have chosen first one the cell link will be changed to 1 because i have linked this cell from here so whatever the value i choose the index number will be shown to this one okay so when i hmm. choose another number 3 4 now i put that chart put that control on to chart okay so what i have to do just select from here and the chart will be ch uh, changed according to the value okay hmm now let's have month also in our combo box because we want to see the every month say sale say so if we want to see the month here so what i need to do i have to fix the value here i don't need these things i simply type here month name because month will be looked by our column so column when i choose first one then it will refer to this one this column okay so i take a reference here seed of one i am choosing this cell hmm. okay. okay now uh, if i choose a combo box here so i go to format control but i i can't take input range from here because it requires vertical values if i give like that it will never work it will show only first value 
so the value should mm-hmm. be like uh, this one so i can hide this thing or copy paste somewhere else or i can use transpose formula for doing this suppose i am uh, doing uh, i am typing some transpose form transpose formula uh, this one array uh, I just press enter and now I select C cell, F2 and Control Shift enter. Okay. Now from format control I choose input range this one and the cell link will be this column. Okay. I press okay. Now you can see from here I can choose. my month okay hmm yeah so month is coming from here and uh, the same thing and i can apply here because i need title also i need january february from formula itself so what i can do hmm i just put offset formula here take the same reference i need i uh, have to select for heading i need to select a row for only always it would be zero because i am looking in same for this only heading only So zero column will be chosen by this one. So every time when I change this, this value also change. Okay. I just reduce the reference from here so that it doesn't take more space. so you can change the name as well as you can change the month mm okay now yeah. we we do one thing we just put a versus button here a check box suppose we want to compare Two person here. Okay, so I just take uh, go to format control and cell link I give from here. So when it is checked, it gives us true. When it is not checked, it gives us false. So with the help of if formula, I can uh, you know, move these values. So for comparing, I need some values to be selected here for that i am taking another uh, i have taken combo box earlier i am now taking list box same thing i do with format control input range and the cell link i will give uh, here at another place so now all the values are here when i selected the other function is working so i will put same offset formula here taking the same reference but the row reference i am taking from here on the column column here it would be zero when i choose the value change and for the values i choose offset formula again take the reference row from this one and the 
column I can choose from here this one because month can be same so for March month Hari having 65 value ok now when I click on that the value change when I change the month all the value change now I just click on that and enhances increase the range of that so the two, two charts are here now now two charts are here for comparison I just do one thing I go to layout and format design I just want to reverse the order because it it is not showing proper data there is hmm. probably only so what can I do I can delete this and take another chart here or I can repair it so here I have charts in proper format ok now the month will be shown and the employee name are here whoever I am changing the value change according to that ok now let us have function of this versus column we say if it is true then it should be there so how we will do if this value is true we don't need not to put a condition then it will follow this formula otherwise it should show blank so what it does when I click on this and it is false the no, no value will appear here ok same thing we do with hmm. this value if this one then this formula otherwise blank so when you click on that see hmm the comparison will be done only when you check on this button ok month you can choose from here ok so with the help of contro yeah. controls you can do some dashboard operations from here hmm. let's see an another controls here I just uh, I use this spin button this is a spin button you can choose according to you hmm. uh, the current value it should be set I am setting as 1 minimum value and maximum value on single click, click it will increment the value or decre decrease the value so incremental change you can set from here I need one and the maximum hmm. to maximum there are five values so I need minimum one to five ok now cell link I choose same row only ok for row now what I do uh, when I click that it is changing Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now we have radio buttons. Let's see the functionality of radio buttons.
when you click on one radio button it gives you the index number of button and switch between all the radio buttons so i just mm -hmm. give the cell link here press okay so i have two option buttons when i select one it shows me one when i select second it shows me second if you insert any other option button in this sheet it will show as third these all buttons are linked to this sheet but suppose hmm. if you want that one functionality should be worked by this one and the other functionality should be worked by another radio button so you have a group box this one group box so in group box what control you put it will work separately it is uh, useful for your radio buttons only so here how you got this group box from this insert tab here ah oh, okay this one now ah oh, okay 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 yeah i can choose a different cell link for that and what i insert here it will work separately mm -hmm. okay otherwise if there is no group box what it does is the 4 5 it link it has link to previous cell okay the changes is being here okay so you can put your options in radio button also because it is also uh, giving you the index number so you can type here and another control is scroll bar scroll bar is also uh, uh, like uh, your radio button but you can set it format control the same functionality are here one maximum minimum one one to five incremental change one and the cell link i link to this row so what happens i can control hmm. to scroll scroll bar okay so yeah the functionality are very easy of these uh, controls but you can uh, hmm. when you mix uh, these controls with formula it gives you uh, amazing results hmm so these thing you can apply on your chart or you you can apply on your da dashboard hmm. these are your con con important controls here one more thing you have button this button hmm. uh, helps you to get macro only you can attach any macro here Not, okay nothing else you can't link it you just you can attach on a macro here only suppose i have uh, made any macro here this macro so i can assign macro and okay so this will work when i click on this button that macro will work okay hmm one more important thing uh, if you want to assign macro to other you because it has limited formatting options Hmm. So you can customize uh, your button through 
shapes in shapes you can choose any of the shape to create your button such as i have chosen this oval okay type anything click uh, formatting i choose this one and i just right click on that assign macro option is also available here so when i assign a macro here so it is appearing here it also work like but butter but uh, by using shape you can uh, show your sheet more creative hmm it looks more trendy here okay yeah and then there is there are some labels also here if you want to write but you will never need this thing you can use text box it don't mm. it doesn't have any dynamic option it is just for writing only okay just like label nothing is special mm. okay mm -hmm. so So these are your user controls and you can just use shapes for creating banner itself suppose you have created a shape here given some style and you want to display some result yeah suppose that you want to show the name which are appearing here or the month name mm -hmm. i just choose this one here and go to formula bar i just click equal to and click on this value press enter hmm so what you format here you will find what you format here you will find that when you are changing this label is also changing because it linked hmm. to a formula so yeah using this button and this type of banners make your excel very powerful hmm okay sir yeah i need to practice it actually this one <laughs> yes uh, yeah so uh, basically it is a short class but it has lot of things to practice so you just yeah yeah you just do practice we will do again the, uh, we will do next class dashboards we will create some dashboard in our next okay class. okay sir yes sir okay probably okay sir so, we will probably yeah. we will create uh this one i show you uh, we'll try to create this dashboard where all the controls are here Okay. Okay. Hmm. You can choose month. The chart uh, work according to that, and according to these filters, this chart show you the percentage. Yeah. So I will tell you the secret tomorrow. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Good night. Or <laughs> today. Good night. Thank you.